Problem 22. In the right triangle ABC, AC is 12, BC is 5, the angle C is a right angle. A semicircle is inscribed in the triangle as shown. What is the radius of the semicircle? When you have a shape that is not, you know, easily, like, apparent for, you know, how to, like, approach it, um, deconstruct it into smaller shapes that are easier to work with. So I copy-paste it for easier convenience, and we're trying to find the radius here. So let's, so let's assume this is the circle center, right, and I'll do it in red for better clarity, and then I'll, I'll draw a line right here. This is a tangent, so this is a, a, a positive, so that's, let's call it x, because r is a bit messy. So that's, that's, that's an x, this is also an x. If I have to draw this helping line, what do I get? I get two right triangles with the same area. Why? Because this, this side right here is congruent to this side, so this must be 5. So we know the total area already, right? The total area is 5 times 12, so the total area... The total area must be equal to 12 times 5 divided by 2. But then I have smaller triangles that sum, that their sum of their areas must give this total area. But they will be written in terms of x. Therefore, we can solve for x. So you see the power here of deconstructing a shape into similar shapes to, to, be, um, to work with. So what are the areas of this triangle and this triangle? Well, they have the same area. So that's 5x divided by 2 times 2. Right? And then we have to add it with this area. But what is that area? Well, we have a Pythagorean um, triple right here, which is 12, 5. So that's this right here. It must be 13, a Pythagorean triple. And you can verify, right? 12 is 144 squared, or 12 squared is 144. 5 squared is 25, 169. That is 13 squared. So this is 13. Therefore, this must be 8. So the, so the area of this triangle right here must be 8 times x divided by 2. This must give the total area of 12 times 5 divided by 2, solving for x, and we will be done. So what is this term? Well, that is equal to 30, right? And what is this term? That's 5x plus 4x. That's equal to 9x. 9x is equal to 30. If we divide 3 on both sides, 3x is equal to 10. x must be 10 over 3. Therefore, your final answer must be answer choice D.